stay here. You can even own a land. I want to marry a Kenyan girl. Hey. So you are very beautiful. Yeah. What are you doing? Um, yeah. Good morning, guys. Good afternoon. Good evening. Depending on what time you are watching these videos. And in case you are new here, kindly consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell. Yeah, so that whenever you upload a video, you can be notified. Yeah, so today, guys, we are coming from a different location. We are coming live and clear from Kisi, as you can see. Kisi County. Kisi is one of the 40 count, 47 counties in Kenya. I just came yesterday and before I continue, uh, let me say sorry because yesterday we didn't have a video. Uh, because I have some friends from, uh, another one is from uh, Nairobi, Kenya and uh, another one from Nepal and also a guy from China. So yesterday they had some, we were very busy. There is something we were doing in Kisi. Yeah, so we just waking up. Even today we gonna be busy, but uh, I will try and do at least update you on what is going on. Yeah, so I think from here, uh, we are coming from Kisi now. And then uh, I think we will be heading to uh, Homer Bay place called Homer Bay because they just want to see the lake they're very excited they want to see the lake and the, and then after that we will go uh, to Eldoret then I will show you the progress and whatever we will be doing guys so stay tuned, tuned as we are enjoying this yeah so I just want to go inside uh, upstairs there is a restaurant so that we can go and have breakfast before we start our journey so come with me guys yeah now this is the lift just when I use a lift yeah so there are two so I just uh, place the, all of them so that we eat whenever uh, this one is read and hey hello morning We are going to fast food. Oh. Yes, finally we okay, are here. And we just want to go to the restaurant so that we can have our breakfast. So we don't know where they are. Morning, how are you? Yeah? No, I'm here. Yes, let me wait. Yes, sir. Yeah, I just want to put my juice here. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I'll go. Morning, sir. Yes, morning. Uh, there's something that we are requesting to know. Yes. Maybe your room number. Eh? Your room number. No, I don't have a room, but we have these guys. You are with them? Yes. Okay, sir. Yeah. breakfast and this is what I'm taking um, Thank you so much. I'm Actually, taking a very we call it a uh, mix of uh, corns and beans and also I have some beef here and this one is motoke and this uh, 
spina. Uh, this is it yes, similar? Spina Sweet bread. Mm. It's so similar to the father. Yeah, so stay tuned, guys, as we are taking our breakfast. It is operating. Kisum, Kisum. Mm. You are having a our video? Yeah, yeah. You can even introduce. Let me start with this one. <laughs> yeah. Um, Gerald. Gerald Nedem. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and also my friend here. Hello. I'm. You can call me Li. I'm from China. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Jumbo. I'm Dr. Rupesh, and I love your country. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Stay here. You can even own a land. I want to marry a Kenyan girl. Eh. Oh, that's mm. very... They are very beautiful. Oh, yeah. Yes. How about you? Yeah, it's my <laughs> first time in Kenya, and I love it here. Yes. It's not going to be on YouTube. Yes. <laughs> do, do you want to marry a Kenyan girl? Um... <laughs> I need to think about it, okay? Who <laughs> 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 could have said yes? <laughs> yeah. Those are very politically correct. Yeah, so politically correct. <laughs> so stay tuned, guys, um, as you are heading our breakfast, and then we're gonna um, continue. Vape in the hotel. Oh no, no but one ever uses sunscreen here, yeah. and we're okay. It, it can prevent <laughs> your skin from aging. No, but yeah. we don't age. Yeah, <laughs> African people don't <laughs> age. It just, yeah. it just seems like you're a natural. Your, yeah. your body, you know. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah. See everyone you see around here. No one uses sunscreen. Like if you open a shop for sunscreen here, you won't no sell. <laughs> yeah. Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> that is a loss. Yeah. Immediately you go. No broke. Bluetooth? Yeah. Actually. The Bluetooth is, yeah. It's not working? Yeah. No uh, Bluetooth. Online before I came. Maybe. Maybe yeah. Jerry, uh, you, you want to play some. Uh, so nice. yeah. people say Lee. Too. Lee, Lee can play. People say that you need to bring some cream. Uh, yeah. iPhone, I can uh, yeah. bring you a not. I didn't use that here. I, don't, I also don't think nah, we need the, to. Yeah. Nah, the Chinese people who make the roads, they always have hats this big. Yeah, yeah. It's like you're wearing an umbrella on your head. <laughs> yeah, but... Like the hat is, it creates a shade for you. Yeah, look look, look at me, it's fine. It's fine without a hat, you know. I, I also bring a hat. But I don't think it's necessary, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's for the... A uh, hat but, is for but people I, who want to be dramatic. Yeah. When I did the research <laughs> online, they said it's a must. Yeah. They said it's a, it's a, it's necessary. So that's why you know, like, 
people have different perspectives, yeah. you know. Yeah. Like, so that's why when, because uh, pe online people say a lot of weird stuff. So yeah. you ask the people who've actually been there, like the, the, the best person to tell you about how to behave or how to do it when you come to Kenya was Miss Yang. Yeah. Because she's, uh, she's also Chinese, so the same, like, uh, she loved the same experience as you. Kind yeah. of similar. Yeah, but, you know, she, she, she told me that something, but she spent most of her, uh, of her time in Tanzania. Yeah. It's the same. It's, it's, the same. it's quite similar. It's the same. It's quite similar. She told me it's totally different. No, because we stayed in Westlands, um, so maybe she thinks it's, it's totally different, but it's not really, you know. They speak the same language, they have the same culture, and maybe Tanzania is slightly less developed than Kenya. Yeah, so guys, we are in Kindu Bay as we are heading to see the lake. So Lee, I think it's your first time to be in a lake. Yes, it's my what? first time. Ah, hey, yeah, yeah. You can uh, maybe ride a boat. Really? Yes. <laughs> Is there a boat here? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you can see there is there. Ah. Uh. Okay, all of this is the lake now. Lake Victoria. Yes. This goes all the way to Tanzania. Yeah, this yeah. one. In fact, it's actually think, bigger in Tanzania. Tanzania and this is Uganda. Yeah. Yes. It goes all the way to Uganda. <laughs> I, last, uh, last month I went to, in November. Yes. We went to Jinja, the source of the Nile. Mm -hmm. Still the same lake. Nile? Yeah. Oh, wow. In How Jinja. do they know the boundaries? Kenya, Tanzania and Uganda. No, I think there's a maritime border. A maritime border, yeah. yeah. But we're actually fighting over it because uh, the, the islands we're claiming are ours. Megingo. And Ugandans are also claiming it's theirs. The Megingo, right? <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. It's very hard to enforce. Yeah. So, so which side is Tanzania? Um, I think this way, probably. And Uganda? And Uganda is right. I'm not sure. It's hard yeah, to tell. This used to be... This one. This used to be the pier, like there was actually like a certain ship here that right, sank. Right, right, like a, a yeah, sun? Oh, it's actually here, still here. Oh, okay. yeah. oh, oh, this one. Yeah, so this is where the boats, the, the ships used to dock. Uh -huh. But they're bringing back, there's a, there's a water bus that you can take from here to Kisumu. It oh. goes across the lake, yeah. <laughs> Kisumu is that side? Kisumu is yes. on the other side of the lake, yeah. Uh -huh. Scary as hell, can't Wh take it. Why? I don't know, man. I don't like being somewhere in the middle of water where I can't see the edges. Uh. <laughs> I can only go as far as there, where I can still see land. <laughs> as soon as I don't see land, now yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. so you can see there's still uh, the, the metal places where they used to yeah. dock. Yeah. Yeah. And what do they do now here? Nothing. So like right now it's a bit of fishing. Uh -huh. Like this is a fishing boat, uh -huh. and they yeah, they always go fishing early in the morning. Yeah, yeah. I think right now just the fishing, right? Yeah. Because the port is closed. The port is closed. Yeah. What are these? But it used to be very vibrant. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, boat ride. Yeah, yeah. yeah. boat ride. Ah, wa wa deko sa. Yeah, boat ride, man. Yeah? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. With you. I like the boat that can automatically ride. Not to, not to the manual one. Yeah, yeah, they have they have like yeah. motorboats. Yeah. Hey, baby, they are fishing. You can see. How many? Four, four, four. 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 Hey, sorry, sorry. <laughs> can I see? Yeah, bear in the. Ah, it's very small. Yeah, very small. The biggest there. Oh, really? Hey. 
Yeah. It's here. Yeah. They've caught some already. It's not even dead yet. It's still here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, another one is here. Oh. The bus. No, no, no. Is it the bees? No. This is too big. Yeah. Oh, I don't think it's bees. bees. Yeah, it's so big. Now these are not bees. They're too big to be bees. No. It cannot be bees. It almost is like a hummingbird. <laughs> right. Almost like yeah, a hummingbird. It's really yeah. big. So I think they're trying to like bring it up. Yeah. yeah. And now that we have the county government, at least they can do something about it. Because mm -hmm. like this place, you know, they used to have a problem. Uh -huh. They had, uh, like the last time I was here, they had hyacinth. Mm -hmm. You see these plants growing on the water? Uh -huh. Yeah. It was covering this entire area, so you uh, couldn't even, oh, like you couldn't even see the water. It looked like there's land. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So but now, I don't know. It's it quite seasonal as well. Oh, so they come to clean it? Yeah, and then uh, they also migrate, like when the currents change, uh -huh. he moves it to another place. Uh -huh. Yeah. But they don't have it in Tanzania because the lake in Tanzania is very expansive. You know, it's really, it's bigger, it's way bigger than Kenya. What lake? Lake Victoria in Tanzania. Oh, yeah, yeah. In it's Kenya, much bigger than the yeah. Kenyan side. Yeah, right. Kenya literally has the smallest part of the lake. <laughs> Then Uganda. Uganda and Tanzania Uganda. is the biggest. Tanzania is a big country. Yeah. It's bigger than Kenya on Tanzania. Way bigger yeah. than yeah, Kenya. Very big than Kenya. That's why a lot of it is rural because it's very hard to develop all that land. Mm. It's massive. So this is the restaurant. Uh, <laughs> can you ask uh, what, what is on the menu? Let's have one drink and go. Uh, yeah. Do you even have the time? No, maybe take away. Yeah. Take away? Yes. Can, if you just get a drink and go. Uh, okay. But like here... And what is this? If you wanted... So this this used to be like the pier. The pier. Ah. So like, because uh, the ships can't come all the way to like the shore. So they used to stop there. Okay. Then you get off and walk this way. Through those pillars? Yeah. So there used to be like a platform. Okay. Yeah. Any other? Oh, guys, as you can see, now this is like Victoria. We just pass by and then we are, we are heading to Eldoret. So stay tuned to my people. Like one hour, they're gonna live. Yeah. But imagine me on Gezeka. Sam. Yeah. This is a request of Mad. Now in Mombasa, it's very clean with the oceans. Oh. Yeah. Very clean. What's this for? This one. Yeah. What's this? You know, there is a time where uh, uh, ships were used to come here. Uh -huh. So, so instead of them coming up to this end, yeah, they were stopping there, and then you walk through. Uh -huh. Yeah, those pillars as you come out. How is the experience? Very good. <laughs> you can come and stay in Kenya. <laughs> what? You can come and live in Kenya. Yeah. If I think if it's not very far away from so far far from China, I would yeah. think come travel to here a lot of time. 
Uh, maybe you can plan and be coming uh, every month, uh, every year. Every year? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I will consider it. Okay. Yeah, every year it can be possible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I will consider it. Yes. Hi, <laughs> friends from Kenya. Yes. No, friends from all over the world. All okay. Over the world. Please support. Muita. Yeah, support. Yeah, his his YouTube. Yes. Okay. Eh, Like they literally take it out of the water and you eat it immediately. Mm. They just make it for you on the spot. So no refrigeration, nothing. You have very, it fresh. Very natural. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's get a, a, do we have water in the car? No, we don't. No. We need to get so you are very beautiful. Jumbo. Yeah. What are you doing? Um, yeah. Kill one. How many? Love me, my pee, Rio, my dog. Ah, I'm something which pr you probably don't know did you know that you can study at some of the world's top ranked universities at a fraction of the cost compared to US or Canada you heard it right you can find out your qualifying scholarship going to wiseadmit.io and within three minutes you'll be matched with the best fit programs and scholarships of your choice so what are you waiting for get into wiseadmit.io see you all in china bye so this place is called hey, they plant a lot of tea so like he, he once came to Nandi County and he was giving a speech in Swahili and he sounded like he's a foreigner. So it's like Nime furahia sana kuwa Nandi County. Ni mara yangu ya kwanza. So she doesn't sound like yeah. local. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Sounds like a foreigner speaking Swahili. Why? Why he is that don't because, know. Because he speaks too much English? Yes. Yeah, because they when oh. when you grow up rich you never really uh. Mm. Yeah, so finally guys, we are we are in Eldoret. Now you can see the building, it's very beautiful guys. Yeah, and we are going to the supermarket to have, to buy some coffee. Yeah, and then we will see what to do. So stay tuned guys, as we are heading to the supermarket. This is Quick Mart supermarket in Eldoret. I think in France, yeah, it's Coco. Maybe. Thank you. 
disputaba, bueno, no es de Lipana, si sí, disputa suerte o cateo de Lipana. Hello. Hey, man, no, 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 How much take away? Okay, so guys, I was asking if there is coffee. Uh, let me see which coffee I'm taking. Universities in China 
in the 21st century. And AOA is among the top list. So you can see that AOA is a top university in China. And uh, about the ranking and Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, this one. So according to the World, World Essential Science Indicator, uh, Nanjing University of Aeronautics and Astronautics ranks one, uh, zero point, point one percent in engineering dis dis uh, discipline. And it's material science, chemistry, computer science, it really ranks uh, one percent and it is one of the best universities for aerospace and mechanical engineering. So we have 19 colleges. We have 19 colleges uh, in our university right now. Guess uh, where I, where I'm from? Guess. Can you guess? Yeah, I'm from College of International Education. Yeah, it's an easy one. Yeah. And uh, as your coordinator, I will be responsible for your life, studies, scholarship, everything that uh, you might need assistance uh, yeah, during your stay in UAA. And you, you saw the video before, you watch, we watched the video and it has, it says that our university has two campus, uh, that's not updated. Right now we have four campus. Uh, the first picture shows the uh, campus located in Minggu uh, Gong, and the, the second campus is still under construction. And this is the university, this is the campus you will go into, you will stay. It's in Zhangjun Road. Yeah, the last one is, if you, if you go to China, the last, last campus is where I'm going. So let's take a glimpse of NUAA. So we are a research-oriented university in China, and we are we started to recruit international students for degree programs since 2005. We have many pro programs taught in English, like we have seven postgraduate programs and six undergraduate programs, and uh, universe and foundation program and Chinese language program. Right now, I'm responsible for the foundation program uh, this year, and uh, we, in my class, in our classes, we have some students from Tanzania, from Congo. So I think, yeah, you can join us if you want to study in China. And look, the diversity of our university, we have. Uh, 1,000 international students from over 100 countries. countries. Uh, hi, Peter. University like us means a good career pros prospect. See, almost 99% of our students can find a job after graduation. So here, I will show some deep researches done by our, our university. Like the aircraft design, the structural mechanics, and navigation, navigation, guidance and control, power electronics, and power drives, advanced manufacturing. Yeah, like I said, we are a research-oriented University. Uh, if you want to graduate as a master student from our university, you need to do your research, your own research, and at least publish uh, a paper so you can successfully graduate from our university. Yeah. 
And our university has a strong co cooperation with a lot of domestic and international enterprises. Like you can see in the picture, there are all, there are all very famous companies like Apple, Airbus, Kovac, Samsung, and Huawei, uh, My Microsoft, Tencent, like this. So, if you graduate from all these companies, we are come to our university to recruit the students. So, studying here means a lot of, of opportunities for you in the job market. Uh, and we are not only having a lot of uh, cooperation with the uh, enterprises, with the uh, famous companies, we also have a good relationship with all the universities over the world. You can see we have many global programs. You can do a dual programs like studying in AOA for the for the first two years, and you go to the uh, another country like a British uh, Br British University and finish uh, the other one. I think uh, I can I cannot name all the famous universities we are not collaborate. Peter, please name some some universities. Okay, so I, uh, <laughs> as I mentioned, I was working as the director of admission and partnerships for this university. Again, I've been reappointed, but now I'm the CEO of Wise Admin, so I don't have big responsibility with the university. But there are programs. And some international student and Chinese student choose that. Uh, some of the top university, you can start in China and graduate from both of the universities are uh, University of Edinburgh, right? That's probably the top 20, top 30 university. Um, university of Western Australia, that's top three in Australia. There are, again, there are so many. I'm sure you guys know some universities in India as well, right? So IIT, you can, you can go there, IIM. Uh, I actually got, for my PhD uh, doctoral um, re one year visit, I actually got accepted by IIM Bangalore, uh, NUS Galway, uh, National University of Ireland in Galway, in Australia. I chose Korea, of course, because it's very near. But there are so many universities. And even if you don't want to go there, what I suggest, if you have finances, of course, because you know it, it costs money, right? Spend a semester in one of these universities. Your life could already be changed, right? So you learn in China. And then again, go to some other place to learn, just like what I did, you know, west and east. I learned from both. Of course, my roots and everything are in the east, but I wanted to learn why west, how west, right? So these are some of the universities. Uh, and in fact, we don't have any partner universities in Africa, so that's something we will explore. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <coughs> and these pictures, to show our beautiful campus, uh, and you can see we, are, we have many playing models here. Actually, because we have the many uh, playing models in our university, we our university actually becomes an attraction. Yeah, in Nanjing, and many students, many tourists will come to our university to see the play. Here, so <coughs> this building is going to be a dormitory, and this this is my office building. And you can see uh, this dorm. I think all the international students just moved into the dormitory from last year, and the facilities in the dorm is very new, and. Like, uh, we have the machine that can recognize your face before you enter the dorm. And it's very, it's very well equipped and it's very ch cheap. I cannot think, I cannot do that. Because you only need to pay 600 US dollars per year. 
you know, maybe for a single room you need to pay uh, 8,000 yuan is Chinese currency per year. But for a double room in Jiangjin Low Campus, you only need to pay 4,000 RMB for a year. Of half for a year, yeah, yeah, for a year. Yeah, we have different canteens. If you come to the university, you can enjoy the food, all kinds of food, uh, especially uh, students from students from Pakistan or from Bangladesh. They can they can eat in the canteen that provides Muslim food. So in front of the library, we have an uh, international student center. And you can join all kinds of international students' activities here. And you can also join in Chinese cultural experience activities uh, for free. Uh, during the lunch break, we will, give, we will open some kind of classes to let you join and you can uh, learn the Chinese calli calligraphy and painting and something like that. It's very fun. Yeah, see here we have, I think right now we have three gyms uh, in, the dorm uh, in the university. Uh, one is, pay one, one you need to pay for and the other two is free, are free. Yeah, we, have, we also have a swim, swimming pool, table tennis court. See, this is so all kinds of activities we organize for the international students. I think this is a video from made by our own students about the dorm. like that it's very difficult from my uh, experience I want to for example when I was a student uh, I got up at around 6 or 7 and I go to bed around 11 in the evening and I have no Saturday or Sunday yeah so I study like all day long like to get in the university that belongs to the Two on one project. So you can imagine. I, I don't think is there anyone here who also study from the morning like seven to eleven in the evening? Come on, I did. <laughs> you? Yes, I mean well um Definitely, I did a few semesters, and then once I started enjoying China, maybe I my grades were going a little down, but I was still a scholarship student, you know? Yeah. Maybe not the first class topper, but I still, he is a class topper. I mean, you have to, uh, no, uh, I'm so sorry, Lee, I, I wanna share his story as well. So Lee here, he first went to Nanjing Normal University, and he, to get in there also, it's very, very difficult, right? And then he popped the class, and then he went to Beijing. China University for Political Science and Law. China University for Political Science and Law in Beijing. And again, he topped the class. And now, he's so young. He is a permanent employee of the university, and he's here not like me, like I'm in a normal passport, right? He's here in an official passport. His passport is different, you know? It's uh, given by the government. So, uh, yeah, I mean, again, study hard, right? In your four years, the tuition fee is not more. If it's the US that you have to, or Canada, you have to go and then go to class and then run 
to work in a gas station restaurant so that you can pay the money to your uh, tuition fee. But he didn't have to do it. He just studied hard. And now, like he's, I think, are you enjoying your trip in Africa? Yes. Tell us something. This is your first trip. Tell, <laughs> tell us something what he enjoyed, right? Like he just said yes. Okay, tell me. Yeah, the first thing that surprised me uh, in Kenya is that when I arrived at the airport, and uh, the security guard at the airport just say ni hao, which it means hello in Chinese. <laughs> and oh, I'm shocked by the enthusiasm and hospitality of the African people, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah and I think the view here is so great. So when we, when we drove uh, here from Kisi, right, mm -hmm. right from Kisi, and, and I see the mountains, I see the trees. They are also natural and yeah, I think the experience in Africa is so exciting for me, you know. Yeah. And I'm also I uh, want to welcome you to come to Nanjing, to come to our university to explore, explore the beauty of Nanjing. You will see and find the, uh, the development of China and you will enjoy your life there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think you're correct. <laughs> yeah, I mean, absolutely. Like, on our way, we just enjoyed so much. We saw Victoria Lake because, hey, we are here from so far. And you, I just thought, like, we're passing by the Victoria Lake. So that's why I'm, we are a little late. I hope you can accept us. You can forgive us for being a little late. Because so far, I really wanted to see the biggest freshwater lake. Tomorrow, we're flying to Tanzania, right? So today is literally the last night in Kenya, and we have to fly back to Nairobi. Yeah, it's a, it's a logistical <laughs> nightmare, I should say. But I think it's about time to tell you more about the programs available. Okay? So there are. Hey, welcome. And you're right on time. Because we're talking about programs. <laughs> Um, okay, so there are foundation programs, which is for students who can't get direct entry into the undergraduate program. So that's for those students who are maybe, who have uh, some issue with their, um, how do you say, grades, who are not good enough to get in, then, you know, foundation program is amazing. Why? Because you go to China before you start your undergraduate program, and you have less pressure, right? When you start your undergraduate program, oh my god, like, you have to, like get started very fast. But foundation program is a lenient, laid back kind of program where students will learn pre-engineering or pre-business and Chinese culture, Chinese language, China immersion program. University will take you to uh, different companies, different historical places so that you understand China and you understand uh, like what you could do there, right? So that's foundation program. And moving on, we do have a lot of programs. Now I'm gonna talk about undergraduate program. Hey, students here, all the students, this question is for you. How many of you want to study aeronautical engineering, air aircraft engineering? Anyone? No? Should I just skip this part then? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you so much. So aeronautical, that, this is what I studied. And I, like I said, all my friends, I knew in my third year that I loved the engineering skills I'm learning from this. Because as an engineer, you'll be very analytical, very mathematical. But I found out that maybe I'm not built for aeronautical engineering, right? So that's why I chose a different career path. However, let me tell you, some of my classmates, I'm not talking about like junior or so many graduates who've already graduated, my classmates, you know, they are right now in, in like some of the world's top places. Like some are working in Boeing US, some are working in Airbus, some are working in Rolls Royce. And best, better than that, one guy, he's the first ever guy from Nanhang, NUAA, and he's an international student. He's clever than Chinese guy. He's an international student who got a job as a senior design engineer in ASML. Do you know this company? This is a chip manufacturing company in Netherlands. 
And because for this company, like there's gonna be a third world war, you know, because there a lot of countries want the technological advancement. ASML, you can Google it, it's, it's, it's a massive, and there's only one company who produces the chip, right? So, so there is an alumni of this university working there. So um, that's the path you can take from aeronautical engineering. You don't have to just focus on aircraft. There are so many different career paths you can follow after aeronautical engineering. It could be design engineering. It could be aircraft maintenance engineering. You could even uh, become a software engineer. You could become an entrepreneur. You know, there's so many pathways. You don't have to go to a big airline company. There are so many aeronautical engineers working in Kenya Airlines. And where's Gerald? Uh, he's not here. So he's, he's currently working at Wise Admit full time. And he also graduated from NUA. And um, he was, I don't know, maybe we'll just wait for him to come and share his experience rather than me tell him, okay? Um, so what can you study in aeronautical engineering, okay? Um, you know how Africa needs a lot of drones? You know, one of our students, he is in Zambia, and he's delivering a lot of things from drone. You know, he's working in the agricultural landscape, and he is using the drones to map, uh, like it's very technical, but he's mapping the ground to understand if the plants or if the, um, you know, the soil is good enough or not. He's using both things. One, aerospace engineering knowledge and en uh, software engineering knowledge, right? So that is something you could do becoming an aer aeronautical engineer. Um, yeah, you have to do some coding as well, like Python or, um, yeah, normally Python. So these are just some of the companies I should have put in, uh, I should have put their Kenya Airlines as well. And the other major is aircraft maintenance engineering. It's almost similar to aeronautical engineering, but it's more directed towards the maintenance. So after this degree, if you get EASA, that's a European Airline uh, Safety Agency, something like that. So they regulate the whole aircrafts all over the world apart from US. In US, it's FAA, Federal Aviation Authority, right. So if you get the part 66 license, you can work in any big airline company as a maintenance engineer, like Qatar is gonna hire you right away. Uh, Emirates, you know, there's a lot, Singapore Airlines, there's a lot of my Middle Eastern friend working in Singapore and Vietnam uh, after this degree. So here you can see some of the companies the students are working. Um, again, you'll have yeah thank you so much guys mm, i hope you enjoyed our today's vlog uh, and in the comment section just tell us uh, what you need so that uh, i will be doing because your wish is my command command sorry yeah so uh it, it has been a busy day i think uh, it's good to end our today's video here because it's somehow long yeah so let me Thank you once again for subscribing to Mr. Junior, uh, for watching the videos, uh, and also for giving out a sweet comment. So kindly guys, keep on subscribing, share, like, don't skip ads because, you know, that's one way of support supporting me. Yeah, because, you know, now I'm monetized, so when, when you don't uh, skip ads, uh, I will be sure that uh, I will earn some revenue. So thank you so much guys uh, and let us meet in our next video. Bye guys and I love you so much. Thank you.